what's happening YouTube tutorial to creating op packets now we're going to create some op packets using scapey so that we can scan our local area network our LAN for other nodes PCs and mobile devices obviously we want to know what's on our network so that we can scan ports on those devices and do all sorts of stuff which we're going to be doing in um, future tutorials okay now scapey makes it really really easy to do so you can do this in Python but um, it will take you a, f <laughs> a few more lines to do so in Python so we're going to do it in Scapey today and I'm going to show you how easy it is so what is address resolution protocol basically your laptop will send out an ARP packet asking all the nodes in the network um, who has this IP so it can build up this ARP cache okay now the one with the correct IP or the one with the IP that's sent out will send back its MAC address okay to the laptop that's um, that sent the ARP request okay so now those two um, those two nodes on the network can communicate all right so it's very important you know, with within communications and of course you will know that that node is up on your network okay so that you know that it's um, visible and um, it's uh, you can communicate with it okay so creating an op packet using scapey is very very easy so if you just open your python terminal and we do a from scapey.all import all or star now we assign a variable you can call this whatever you like not peter <laughs> arp request equals now this is the ether header okay the destination is going to be broadcast <coughs> excuse me okay it's a broadcast packet which means it's sent to every node okay now this is the arp header this is the IP destination so I know for a fact that my router my router 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 is uh, 254 so I know I'm gonna get an answer back well I hope so otherwise I've been cut off which is not good and the hardware destination is also broadcast okay because obviously we, we don't know the MAC address that's what we're trying to obtain okay so it's as easy as that that's the art packet and if you do an art request dot show in scapey it will give you a breakdown of the packet itself so there it is as you can see it's a uh, it says who has so who has this IP alright and this is the destination it also contains our MAC address okay which you can see in HW source there alright now there's a few commands in um, in scapey that I do I do invite you to use like the ls if we do an ls arp now these are the fields that we're required to fill okay so just play around with that so we have an ls in scapey we have a conf which is a configuration file um, and we also have an lsc which is a list of um, available commands all right so have a little play around see what's available it's a lot all right because it's very powerful okay so today we're going to be using the SRP1 which will send a, uh, a packet and uh, receive a packet okay and return only the first answer so we're going to send the art request we're going to wait and we're going to receive the answer okay and hopefully obtain all the MAC addresses in our local area network thus scanning the network yes so we do ARP response equals SRP1 and then we put our ARP packet in there, ARP request. Now you can specify your interface. So we do interface, my one's WLAN0. You can put this as a default uh, before beforehand, which we're going to do in future tutorials. Okay, so we've sent the packet, we received one. So ARP response now should contain um, the MAC address of the router which is no that's the destination this is the source and as you can see hardware source above above here now let me break this down a bit easier for you guys to see okay that the um, the router responded it said yeah that's me 
That's me. I've got the IP. I've got it. All right. So we do a dot show to break down the packet. And as you can see, it says is at. So the first one was who is. Uh, this is is at. Right. So basically, what we did is we sent the art packet out to all the nodes on the LAN. Okay. Those that did not um, correspond with the IP address dropped the packet. Okay. The one that did respond and said, "Yep, yeah, that's me," sent back its MAC address. So we know that that node is up on our local area network. Okay. Now what we need to do is send it out to all the nodes on the network. So obviously, you need to know the um, the subnet range on your local area network. Okay. Now this is a way of um, displaying the information. So I'm just going to show you how to display the information that we just obtained. So we have an IP with string plus the ARP response. Okay, which is and dot and then p source plus mac and then plus art response and you can get what guess what this is art response dot hardware source and that's it this is easy as that there's the router's ip and mac address right so for our GUI, for our interface, it's going to be very useful so that we can display the information we need and use it as we want. All right. Work. Find out your subnet range. OK. Now, as you can imagine, you just need to loop through your subnet range. OK. Collect the IP and MAC. Now, it's going to be very slow the way we're doing it now. Um, investigate using threads. OK. And you're going to see in the right hand corner in a minute. Um, a threaded version I made and it literally takes I think about 10 seconds to scan 255 um, if not shorter I'm not sure okay and then another little task for you is play around with Kivi and display the results in Kivi okay so as you can see the scans done now if I was doing this in real time I'd still be here uh, probably five minutes later which is not good you want to scan the network as fast as possible all right so that's it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials coming to a laptop near you. If you like what you watch, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. I will appreciate it a lot. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. See ya.